right, Merry Christmas, everybody. 2018 here in Changzhou, Dollar Store Dynasty. Hope you're all having a, a nice one. Hope you're having a, spending your time with your family. For me, China, I've seen a lot of Christmases come and go and, and uh, spend them mostly alone, and you wouldn't even know it was Christmas. Yeah. Uh, last night I went out to a Christmas party. Uh, it was kind of nice, you know, I got to talk with some Americans, some Russians, some British, Australians, South Africans. Uh, yeah, so it was, was kind of good. Drank a little. They had a secret Santa. I, I didn't buy anything for it. I just kind of brought a bottle of Sabuka. And, uh, and that was that. You know, I, I always kind of steer away from strangers, engage, engaging, you know, strangers parties and things like that, but there was enough people from where I worked to, for me to head out there and check it out, so it was, you know, it was kind of a nice change of pace, I guess, um, and today is Christmas, you know, it was last night, Christmas Eve, and, and today is Christmas, I'll probably give a, my parents a call, um, a call, uh, just to kind of wish them happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and that's about it, you know. And uh, today I went out to um, the Christian church here to just kind of check that out and see what uh, that was like here in China. I've, I've been to other churches before in China and I always kind of felt it was kind of weird being in China on Christmas, you know, celebrating Christmas in China. Uh, especially to the extent that like the schools will go to, to make a deal and, and we did our Christmas show and you, know, you can see, you know, I had to go out and went out to Santa. And uh, brought gifts to, to the kids and stuff like that. Um, but I was kind of was kind of weird because you know they still actively persecute Christians in this in this country. Um, and uh, you know I've I've seen churches that were you know boarded up and had their notices on it before in Nanjing. So you know it's not all it's not just make believe necessarily. Uh, but the, um, but the Christian church here in Changzhou is, is pretty pretty well established, it seems, you know, and pretty openly, uh, you know, holds its services, and it's not like sort of an underground thing, as you can see. Uh, it was quite interesting, you know, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, I think there was still like a, uh, a, a little bit of a feeling that I was going to hook up with somebody. Uh, being a holidays, and, and that seems to be one of the uh, expectations, of, I guess, of, of a lot of people's holidays. That you you are with someone that you you love, or you perhaps are willing to. I don't know. Are you going to share love or something? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, you know, I, certainly when I was younger, I I, I would uh, you know hook up. But I'm older now, and I just don't, you know, I just don't see myself getting involved with people on those terms that much anymore. You know, I, I, I I'm gonna only embrace familiarity and, and things that I've had some sort of. I just don't feel like the awkwardness of intimacy. You know, the awkwardness of intimacy can sort of overweigh my, my, um, my desires. So anyway, so I was sitting there, and you know, it seemed like some of the some girls were trying to flirt with me, and just not not doing anything. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy Christmas. See what it is. Made some fried rice. You know, fried rice uh, basically is your leftovers, and since it's uh, the end of the week, that's that's basically what I made today. We cooked up my leftovers. And, Made fried rice out of them, fried rice out of them. I kind of had this thing where I, I take uh, you know you make a sauce for your dumplings, the jiang sauce, and uh, usually I'll have a lot of that left over, and that goes as like the sauce for my fried rice. It actually, tastes pretty good, <laughs> but it is you know it's a leftover meal, so I made some of that today. I'll be eating that. Try and watch some films here, maybe some Christmas films, and, and that'll be it, you know, for for the holiday. Tomorrow I gotta go back to work, and, and uh, 
you know, start to go through all that again. But at least all that Christmas stuff is out of the way, and they went overboard. The um, the production it went. Uh, I thought it wasn't a disaster, but there was it was much in need of uh, of um, rehearsal and more sort of. Uh, uh, we needed to take a look at it, especially our line dance. I ended up growling and stuff like that because we were doing it in rehearsal, and um, I just kind of took it up from what the the head of the line was doing. He was he was doing some growling to to give the uh, the other actor a kind of indication of what what he could expect, and uh, so I took that up on the microphone during the performance, and, and I didn't like it at all. <laughs> That was terrible, and there was some uh, some sound glitches, you know, that could have sound cues that were missed and things like that that should have been worked out in rehearsals. And we didn't do anything on the stage. We never rehearsed it on the stage. We just rehearsed it in a little classroom. And, and uh, as far as the line dance goes, we we did it like twice. But uh, you know, I started researching it and was seeing a lot of things I thought would have worked a lot better than than what we ended up doing. But for the most part, people loved it, or I don't know if they loved it, but they, they thought it was uh, the best of the show. I, I hear a lot of that feedback, and uh, you know, I'm kind of willing to believe that for the most part. Um, it was pretty It was, it was pretty visual, uh, and it was pretty, um, you know, pretty elaborate, I guess, for uh, considering the other, other pieces that were being done, other performances that were being done. And that's that. Uh, I got a little bit. I got a couple of gifts from students. Uh, I had one student, very thoughtful gift, gave me this. Uh, gave me the uh, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Snows of Kilimanjaro. That's kind of cool. They must also kind of tells me. It also kind of tells me somebody out there is following my uh, private accounts or my my WeChat accounts because uh, I had posted uh, posted um, an interest in Hemingway. Um, you know, earlier in the year, so somebody kind of was watching, and uh, they got me that gift. I, you know, I appreciate them reading it, and, and uh, I'm familiar with some of the short stories, but not I haven't read them all, so that's kind of cool. And I'm a big Hemingway uh, fan. I always enjoy Hemingway's short stories. Not a big fan of his novels, though, to be honest with you. I always kind of felt that he was a master of uh, the short story. Also got the. Uh, Chinese apple here. This is uh, in China. It's a tradition to give the apple, pingguo, pingan, uh, I guess, is a, a way of saying peace. And this is kind of peace, fruit of peace, or something like that. Uh, and just because the Chinese name is, is similar to that. So they give out apples here as a kind of a Christmas tradition. Um, and fruit is a, a very popular gift in China. It's always been, it's always kind of like their. If you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna buy somebody just kind of a gift to show uh, appreciation or just kind of a uh, to show, uh, you know, to share something with somebody, fruit is a pretty, pretty common gift and it's always well received. Um, it was a gift that we uh, we were giving out when we were doing the Santa's visit as a little memento of the visit. We were giving out little lamps. That I thought were really cheap, you know, just kind of like junk. That was if the minute it fell on the floor, it was gonna just bust, and that would be it, go in the garbage. Um, I really wish we had given out fruit, you know, instead uh, to the kids a uh, basket of fruit because it would be kind of something that that uh, everyone could appreciate. Um, and what else? I guess that's about it. I uh, just wanted to kind of show you what my Christmas year is in China, what it's kind of been like for my eight years in China for the most part, it's even this. <laughs> There's been times it's been even like less, less, uh, less noticeable. Uh, and certainly in my lifetime I've seen Christmases go without even, you know, without even sort of a Christmas light or even a, a Merry Christmas, you know. But anyway. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, too. And uh, you guys stay tuned, and we'll catch up with you on the next show, on the next one. Oh, I guess, should I mention it? I don't know. Talk a little bit. I always kind of, you know, think about 
Shane, I still kind of wish you would contact me, and he never does. So, so, uh, so that's uh, something that crosses your mind. Anyway, take it easy. You guys have a good Merry Christmas. Have a have a happy New Year, and we'll uh, talk to you in the next show. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.